5 euro i will commit to it in tv it is the station where you watch and learn i'll be taking you through mathematics form 3 lesson number 14. the topic it is trigonometry 2. i'm your tutor lucy modon welcome uh, the first thing we are going to look at the reason goes um, we are going to use the unit circle to find the trigonometric ratios of angles. In our previous lesson, we introduced the trigonometry ratio, the, the unit circle. We also talked about the unit circle, how it operates the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and also the fourth quadrant. And we said that in the first quadrant, all the angles, all the trigonometric ratios are positive. That is where we have the alpha angle. All those are ratios, sine, tan, cos is positive. While when you go to the second quadrant, that is where the mu is. You can be able to see where the mu is. Only sine is positive. Cos and tangent are negative. Now, when you go to the theta, where it is, that is the third quadrant. And in this third quadrant, only cos is positive. Not cos, but tan. Only tan that is positive. Cos and sine are negative. And when you go to the the quadrant that is where beta is uh, you are going to get that only because that is positive so in that case now we have all the 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 ratios being catered for when you are using the unit circle let us take an example i've already mentioned the trigon the, the where we have alpha uh it is in the first quadrant now when we take the the opposite and adjacent of the theta of alpha, you are going to get supposed to be y divided by x, and these values are positive. Y cos theta. It's supposed to be, not cos theta, but cos alpha. It's supposed to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is x over r. And sine alpha is supposed to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is supposed to be y over r. That is the reason why all the quadrants, you can be able to see that the point note there, all the trigonometric ratios of alpha are positive. That is in the first quadrant. We go to the second quadrant where we have the mu, we have the, the tan alpha, it is opposite of our adjacent, which is y over negative x cos mu, it's supposed to be adjacent to y hypotenuse, which is negative x over r, and then sine r mu, it's supposed to be opposite of adjacent, which is y divided by r. And note this, the tan and cos in the second quadrant, those are the angles that are greater than 90, are uh, Tan and cos are negative, where sine is positive. These are angles greater than 90, but less than 180. We take to the third quadrant. These are the angles that are greater than 180. And that is where we have the theta. So when it comes to finding the tan theta, uh, it's supposed to be opposite of adjacent, which is negative y divided by negative x. And this one give me positive. Then cos theta adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, which is negative x divided by the radius. And then sine theta is supposed to be opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is negative y divided by r. And that is negative. And in this is in the third quadrant. The trigonometric ratios in the third quadrant, you are going to get tan is positive where cos and sine are negative. Uh, we go to the fourth quadrant. This are uh, where we have the angles that are greater than 270 degrees. The trigonometric ratios of beta opposite over adjacent, you are going to get that is tan, uh, which is negative y divided by x, and then cos beta, supposed to be adjacent divided by 
I put is, which is x divided by r, and then sine beta is supposed to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is the negative y divided by r. And in this fourth quadrant, on recourse that is positive, where tan and sine are negative. And this, if I tell you of rarest, whatever you have been discussing, it is for the positive angles. Remember we said while measuring these angles, we start from the x-axis and then we move anti-clockwise. That is the summary of what you have talked about. We have the summary, it is there. You can be able to see the positive, it is in the positive, the first quadrant, then we go to the second quadrant, only sign that is positive, cos and tan at negative. And then we have the tan in the third quadrant is positive, and while the cos in the fourth quadrant, it is positive. The assignment for today, using the unit circle, find the values of sine 224 degrees and state the values of sine 44 degrees, sine 136 degrees, and sine 316 degrees. Then find the value of tan 45 degrees and state the value of tan 135 degrees, tan 225 degrees, and tan 315 degrees. For more information, you can visit the KRB 2003 Secondary Mathematics Student Book 3, that edition. And also, you can get us through the SMS, uh, through the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. And also, you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to your new TV.